Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing good. I figured I'd make a video where I take you through some of my some of my works of art. I've isolated a select few and without further ado, shall we go through them? No, stop. So this is a 1600s inspired portrait. It was done in oil, monochrome. It's pretty strange. Today I actually really like it for some weird reason, but yesterday I hated it, so I don't really have much to say about this one. It's just, I don't think it's one of my best, but I don't think it's one of my worst. This is an old sketch that I did. All the sketches that I'm going to go through today are a few years old, or at least a couple years old, but this one I call Apophenia. I think it's probably pretty self-explanatory. This is another old sketch of uh, just a boy playing guitar. When I look back at this one, I still like it, I think, because of the texture. There are some things that I would probably do differently now, but I definitely still like it. This one is called Bridge to Nowhere. It's really strange. It's pretty plain. I don't... I really don't even know why I put it in here, but... It's still, it's still pretty interesting. Again, pretty self-explanatory. This one is The Mermaid of Copenhagen. I painted it because my mother's Danish. Yeah, that's basically it. It's pretty poorly done. It's one of my first oil paintings, but I still like it because the subject matter is very abstract. <laughs> she kind of looks like she has a broken arm, though. The paint is definitely really laid on thick. You'll notice that that's kind of the theme. This one is, well, I call her my Dutch woman because to me she looks Dutch, but maybe I'm crazy. This has probably got to be one of my favorite paintings that I have done thus far. I'd love to hear others thoughts on it. <laughs> I'm sure there are quite a few things that I've done wrong here as well. <laughs> she looks pretty angry though. That's also kind of a theme. I don't intend for that, that to happen, it just kind of does. This is another old sketch. This one's pretty rough indeed, but there's something that I like about it. There's not much backstory behind this one. This one was inspired by a photo taken by uh, Camilla Neville. She doesn't have a site or anything and I couldn't find any of her other works but her photo had won second place in a contest. I'll put the link to the contest down below. I found it incredibly inspiring. I thought the photo was gorgeous but I did change it there was originally like a water basin towards the left there and I made it an easel instead because I felt that would bring out more of the ambience that I was really trying to capture from the photo. This is entitled Mike because it's a sketch of a, of a dude that I used to know that I went exploring with a couple times and this is actually one of the times where we had been exploring a factory and I just decided that I would try and get it down on paper before it escaped me. And now that it's been a few years, I, it's just grown on me. There's something about it that I just kind of really like. It's probably more memories than anything, maybe. But I like it. This one I just called North and South. This one has actually got quite a bit of meaning behind it. It's inspired by a Native American legend, the eagle and the snake. Basically it's, I drew it to, I drew this to kind of symbolize left and right for yin and yang. Of course they're at battle here, but in, in the whole they're one, <laughs> just like north and south, both just directions on the compass. It's kind of like a unity drawing. It almost brings me strength when I'm down. So I really appreciate this one. 
I also think I just went way out on the detail. <laughs> like this one's definitely pretty detailed. This one is an oil painting, though it looks really pastelish. Uh, I really don't like it. I tried to get... I was going for a certain look, and I think I failed miserably. <laughs> When I zoom up and look at the details, I can kind of appreciate it a little bit, but then, you know, in a whole, like as a whole, I just don't, I don't, it doesn't bring me much joy. This one is an oil painting, the portrait of Tom Waits, if you know the, the musician Tom Waits. I think it looks pretty wacky jazzy, hopefully. I don't think there's ever a day that I don't like it, and that's just because it's Tom Waits. <laughs> and I really like the orange for the background. This one is another old sketch, and it's kind of depressing. It's inspired by another musician, Gregory Isakoff. It's specifically inspired by the song Too Far Away. And last but not least, Sir Bacon. My portrait that I did of the artist Francis Bacon. I've entitled it The Assault, as you can see down, down below. And he has a... Sorry, he has a wound on his face because this is specifically inspired by the time when he had been thrown out of a window by his friend and it seemed to have brought him more love for life and for his friend after he was assaulted like that, which is, it's rather funny, but I think it uh, says a lot about his character, you know. He was a really rambunctious person, I suppose you could say, in his lifetime, and he did quite, quite a few outrageous things for the sake of for the sake of art and just loving his, like, the artist's life. Because, of course, we know fear motivates us and it brings forth, uh, like, fear is the most original form of transportation. And it's, it's really fuel for creativity, I do believe, if we can learn how to make use of it in the right ways. And life can be really hard sometimes. There can be a lot of, uh, you know, we all go through a lot of rough spots and it can be really hard to see the beauty in it, but art really can help you do that and Bacon was really good at seeing that and using his darker emotions to bring forth interesting and almost humorous creations. He's definitely an inspiration to me. It kind of reminds me of that one song by Nina Simone, Isn't It a Pity? But that's why this portrait means so much to me, despite the fact that I don't really think it's the best quality. I'm not that confident in the watercolor skills here, but it definitely holds a number one spot in my heart out of my pieces of artwork here. Well, I think that concludes the little tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'd love to know what you guys think. And I'll talk to you later.